Nimmer Automotive is a wheeled vehicle manufacturer located in uh, Abu Dhabi within the UAE. We are a government-owned entity, a subsidiary of Emirates Defence Industries company, making uh, 4x4, 6x6 wheeled vehicles, typically ranging from 2.5 tonnes special forces vehicles all the way through to uh, 25 tonnes heavily protected MRAP uh, vehicles. For a while, uh, Nimmer Automotive has been looking to expand its uh, sales outside of the GCC and North African region. One of the regions we have been targeting has been Eastern and Central uh, Europe. Uh, we formalized a strategic teaming agreement with VOP in the Czech Republic in February 2017. Uh, and that was specifically to look at localizing the manufacturer within Czech Republic to target uh, markets within the Visegrad countries, being Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland and Hungary, uh, where we see a demand for light tactical wheeled vehicles, similar to the Ajban 440A uh, behind me, uh, where countries are looking to replace uh, old uh, Land Rover vehicles uh, with more heavily, more militarized uh, protected vehicles uh, and replacing uh, legacy fleets of vehicles as these vehicles reach the end of their service life now uh, with uh, tactical uh, mobility. So specifically with uh, the Romanian market, uh, exhibiting at uh, BSDA uh, exhibition here in Bucharest, uh, NIMA for a while has been looking to uh, market uh, the NIMA 440A vehicle to the local, uh, to the local Ministry of Defence, Land Forces. Uh, in 2016 there was a tender uh, for a number of vehicles, however this tender uh, ultimately uh, was cancelled. Uh, we anticipate that this will be re-released in, uh, in the coming uh, months. Uh, Nimmer has taken a lot of efforts to make sure that this vehicle meets with all of the local Romanian Ministry of Defence test uh, standards. So we went through a process where the vehicle was homologated according to Romanian uh, defence requirements. Uh, we successfully concluded all of those such that when the vehicle, uh, vehicle programme is re-released, this vehicle has already passed a lot of the test requirements uh, and we'll uh, look at um, entering that vehicle into that program. And of course, depending on the volumes, uh, we'd be very happy to look at doing technology transfer programs and doing local assembly or manufacturing. We already have quite a high content of EU parts within the vehicle uh, and that's important in ensuring that we meet uh, local offset requirements uh, as well as making sure that uh, uh, this ultimately creates uh, uh, capacity development within Romania. The vehicle on display, the number 440A, uh, we have some uh, various systems integrated onto this vehicle which are typical requirements uh, within uh, NATO uh, EU forces. So the vehicle is fitted with uh, CBRN filtration for uh, chemical biological threats. Uh, we've also integrated onto the vehicle a Konsberg remote weapon station with 12.7 millimeter um, M2 Browning uh, that has the ability to do uh, fire on the move, uh, fire to a moving target uh, with full uh, stabilization. Uh, very widely uh, sold uh, system throughout uh, Europe. Uh, we have a number of different uh, communication systems options. Typically we are driven by the customer's uh, um, specification on their communication so we can integrate different C4I systems. Uh, the vehicle also can have smoke grenade launchers integrated onto the vehicle to give you uh, protection, a smoke screening capability uh, to move out of a hostile environment. In addition, should there be a requirement, we can uh, look at doing add-on armor uh, systems, integration of RPG net uh, systems if the, in the event that there is an RPG threat, as we've seen in a number of areas of deployment. Um, but ultimately, the most important feature of the vehicle is that it's combat proven. Uh, Nimmer now has, uh, out of its uh, range of vehicles, more than 2,000 vehicles in service. Uh, and these platforms have been combat proven in very harsh environments. Um, so we know as a company that not only have we designed to the highest uh, international independent uh, standards, such as the NATO Stanag uh, specifications, MIL standards and DEF stands, but these vehicles have proven themselves in operational environment. And that's what they're meant to do. 
So in addition to NIMR's uh, expansion into Eastern and Central uh, Europe, uh, NIMR is also actively seeking uh, some programs within Southeast Asia. Uh, NIMR recently concluded uh, participation at a DSA exhibition in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, uh, after which we'll be looking at specifically targeting some upcoming special operations programs with NIMR's long-range special operations vehicle. Uh, and uh, we believe that this is well suited to the environment within Malaysia because the same benefits that we typically get for mobility in soft sand, which is high ground clearance, uh, good flotation, uh, ability to increase the surface area of the tyre through central tyre inflation, has the same benefits in uh, mud conditions, which uh, are a key uh, requirement for the Malaysian uh, armed forces uh, in uh, their uh, jungle and swamp areas.